Okay, in part three of this tutorial, I would like to uh, complete this box robot. Let's finish the upper torso. Uh, first, let's give it a, a lower back. Maybe you want to make it bigger, you know, just to be more stylish. Okay. Uh, so the lower back can be a, a TNT ball link. We should remove the, the old, since we we'll copy paste from the root, let's remove the, the wrong component, add a TNT bowling to it. Uh, let's split the heavy heaviness between the root and this lower back. Each of them is 50 kilogram. That sounds pretty heavy. Um, make sure the parent is assigned correctly. point to the pelvis and let's show the joint location auto fill pivot a to match them and then enable the visual editor oops the wrong dragger to to drag it so that the, it's about on the right position right and don't forget to also set the uh, the muscle strength which is kpkd on this new segment. Let's give it also 525. So um, now you have a lower back you can actually assign it to the to the limb configuration. Here you see this lower back put it there, uh, upper back still not there yet. So let's see how this works. So it looks working fine. Okay, it's working fine. So let's have some more fun with this. You know, uh, you can have an arbitrary number of uh, bones in the spine, basically. And, you know, let's just copy paste this. Oops. Just duplicate that. Maybe make them smaller. Okay, we added three, just three new bones for the, for the, the back. Let's call the, this one middle, mid back, another one uh, upper back. So the mid back should have a parent of lower back and the upper back is also ball joint should have a parent of mid back so now you have one two three okay three back um, the all of them okay let's make sure their their joint are at the right location so
Okay, the drawing seems right. Uh, also, let's make sure we have the uh, control strength set here. Uh, in general, you know, we need to distribute the load between these upper torso. We have four now. Maybe we give each of them a weight of 25 kilograms instead. Make sure the auto compute MOI is checked. I forgot just now. Okay. Let's do a saving. Let's run. As you can see, it can it still move. Uh, since we have a spine now, um, we can have some fun with it, you know. And one cool part is, is our control parameter here. We have a lot of spine-related uh, parameter. You can tune the you can tune the the posture of the spine, like the spine twist, slouch. You can even make that a time-based trajectory for span animation. So here, let's show some simple things. Let's say if we do um, if we let it go, uh, we do the spine twist. You can see the spine will twist. If I make it zero, it's back. Now let's make a, a slouch forward. Yes, you can slouch forward, slouch backward. The cool thing, while we are doing this challenging move, it's still trying to balance, but there's a limit, right? If you're doing too much, it, you know, it won't work. Ah, oh, it's falling down. Okay. So, you know, we have a more fun to play once we have a torso. So, uh, one thing we forgot is now we have upper back, we should uh, configure the upper back there. Actually, uh, we missed that. That might be the reason the span control is not as, uh, as sensitive as we hoped last time. So with that fixed, let's try again. Let's see, we can do spine twist. So we are twisting our spine now and still keep balance. Uh, slouch, like a sad guy, proud guy, sad guy, proud guy, okay? Or we can lean sideways just to be funny, whatever. Um, you can totally do that while um, while walking, right? Like that. You can even configure trajectory like this. So this guy will do twisting, you know, periodically. Or you can do the, um, the slouching periodically. So I'm just putting some random random trajectory here, and eventually I make it fail. All right. So um, the last last two steps, um, we need an arm for it. Let's add an arm to it. Uh, we can still just maybe copy paste the. Let's just copy paste the upper. Let's call it L shoulder. Make it longer, look like a shoulder. Okay, maybe put it here. 
and we can copy paste this again make it uh, the other shoulder let's call it our shoulder now let's fix the joint the arm maybe not that heavy maybe arm just five kilogram and uh, the L shoulders parent should be the upper back the R shoulders parent should also be the upper back and uh, let's see uh, we also need to fix the pivot point maybe pivot here L shoulder something weird here let me see okay let's make sure the shoulder entirely match okay and now let's assign the thing to the humanoid controller the L shoulder R shoulder save it see how that work ah nice okay I think there's some orientation bug Oh, okay. The bug is that uh, we require the character, the neutral pose to be a T-pose. So at T-pose, you are supposed to have the shoulder in horizontal orientation instead of vertical. So yeah, we can, we can just fix that quickly. Okay, so now we have two shoulders. Both of them has the have parent of upper. Okay, it's already right. Just now fix the pivot point. L shoulder. And uh, our shoulder, okay, it's about right. So let's see how this works. Okay, still assign the shoulders to the limb configuration. 